How we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today we are making ribs, sausage, potatoes and onions, and corn at one time on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I can't wait to show you how we're gonna do this. Let me show you guys the stars of the show and then I'll unveil how we're gonna get ribs, sausage, corn, and potatoes on the grill at one time. Here's what we got today. We have smoked sausage. The brand I'm using today is Smoky Denmarks. I love these. I've been cooking these smoked sausage for years, so we're gonna have sausage on the grill. We have red potatoes and onions. We'll get these diced up. I'll show you how we're gonna do that on the cutting board. I'll show you the seasoning we're gonna use for that. That'll be cooking at the same time as the sausage. We have two slabs of ribs. I have three here, but I'm only gonna cook two. So we'll have two slabs of ribs. You guys seen my apple whiskey rib cook. This won't be that intense, but it will be awesome, okay? So now we have sausage, we have potatoes and onions, and we have ribs on the grill. Last but not least, we have corn. So again, all of these items on the Gateway Drum Smoker at one time. You know what we'll do? I'll take you to the cutting board, show you step by step how we're gonna get all of these awesome, awesome foods on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, we are back. So first up, we have our red potatoes and we have our onion. So we're gonna dice these babies up. I know you've seen this done before. I will cut a few and then I'll come back and show you the next step. So we're just gonna go on these and what I'm planning on doing is quartering and maybe cut them one more time. So we'll, we'll look for eight on uh, each one of these. So we'll do them like that. All right, so we'll do eight slices. I'm gonna move this to the side. We'll do one more. So we're gonna go straight in the middle. Then we're gonna go sideways and do our quarter. Okay, so we're quartered. Then I'm gonna grab those quarters and we'll turn them into eights. Okay, I'll check back with you guys in a bit when we cut up the onion. Okay, so our potatoes are cut up. So here's our beautiful white onion that we have. I'm gonna give it a cut on one side, cut on the other. Now we're gonna go ahead and kind of peel off that outside layer. So we'll do that real fast. Again, folks, these are things that I know you've seen before, but if not, um, we'll go through it real quick and get this layer off. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way. And we wanna dice up some onions. So let's get going on that real fast. What I wanna do on this one, I'm gonna go down the middle and then I'm gonna come sideways, as you can see right here. And we're just gonna go in rows, right? We're gonna make us some nice slits right on down the side. Right here, okay? Then I like to turn it sideways, all right? And then we just go right down the middle. All right, these are our chopped onions. I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll come back and show you how all this is gonna to come together. Hang in there with me. Okay, so we just finished dicing up the onion. So you may ask, how is all this gonna go on the grill with ribs, with sausage, and with corn? First and foremost, we have the accessory hanging basket by Pit Barrel Cooker. So here's our beautiful onions. You can see up under there, we have our red potatoes. What I wanna do is get these mixed up a little bit, folks. We're gonna mix them up, add us some seasoning to these, and then this will be the first part of our four different items that we're gonna cook on a pit barrel cooker. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with one of my favorites. Of course, you know that's the Suzy Q's. So we'll do that right now. I want a light coat of the Suzy Q's. And we will hit it with olive oil. So here's our olive oil, we'll add that. So olive oil to me during this smoking process is gonna to be to protect the onions, protect the potatoes while they're cooking or while they're hanging on the gateway drum smoker. Okay, so I'll try to get these mixed up the best I can and then I'll show you real fast how we're gonna close this up and get it ready for hanging. So these are mixed now. What we do, we come with our top, all right? So here's the top. It has a latch here. We go up under the latch, then we bring it down and then the pit barrel cooker has a clasp that helps keep everything closed. So I'm gonna put it in place. We're gonna put the clasp on. And look at here, folks. We have our hook right here. There's our hook. There's our potatoes. We'll be hanging potatoes in the next 20 or 30 minutes on the Gateway Drum Smoker. All right, folks, I'll see you in a bit to show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, YouTube, we are back. 
So I want to show you guys the grill setup right now. So what I have is BNB lump charcoal and one fire starter. So again, this is the gateway drum smoker. So I will back up and let you see the drum smoker. This is where we're going to do all these magnificent things at one time. So let's go ahead and get the charcoal lit real fast. We'll let this thing get up to temperature. Then we'll go back to the cutting board and get our corn going next. So here we go. So again, just one wax cube. It won't take long, folks. We'll have this thing up and ready to go in the next 15 to 20 minutes. It'll be time to get cooking. See you guys back at the cutting board. Okay, folks, so next up is our corn. As you can see, we have four beautiful ears of sweet corn. I'm gonna go ahead again, hit these babies with olive oil. Now we're using this as a binder and also as a sealer. We wanna try to protect this corn while it's hanging. Okay, so we added that nice portion of olive oil. Now let's come on back again with our Susie Q's. Salt, pepper, garlic, and parsley. We'll add that. Okay, so now you wanna know how is this gonna get added to the potatoes and onions? Same type of thing. Let me move this to the side and show you the next thing we have going, folks. This is our corn hanger. So, same principle, we're gonna hang these corn on the cob right on the corn hanger. All right, so the corn hanger opens up, it's a two-piece process. We just drop in our corn on the cob, just like this. Same system, we have a latch right here, so we'll go right on in. We'll come on down to the next one down. And then folks, look at that. This is corn on the cob, ready to hang on the drum smoker. So we have all these in place. There's our hook on this side here. You can see exact same principle. We will just hang our corn, just like we're gonna hang our potatoes and onions. Okay, let's check out the next step. Okay, folks, so as you remember, we just showed you how we're gonna hang our potatoes and onions. We showed you how we're gonna hang our awesome corn, and now we're gonna show you how we're gonna hang our sausage. So what I have is a pack of Smoky Denmarks. These are, again, sausage that I've eaten since I was a teenager. I love these things. What a rich, authentic sausage taste that these bring. Here's what we're gonna do, folks. We have, again, another accessory. This is the sausage hanger. Exact same concept. Open up one side and drop these babies in. There's two, three, and four. So we got all four sausages on. I'm gonna go to the highest setting here and then we're just gonna clamp it down. We have our hook. Again, same process, there's our hook. Now these babies are in place. Look at this, folks. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about hanging potatoes, we're talking about hanging corn, and we are talking about hanging sausage. Last but not least, we'll bring our ribs up and get those babies ready. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. So we're gonna go ahead now and hang our awesome potatoes and onions, our sausage and our corn on the Gateway Drum Smoker. From there, we're gonna go back to the cutting board and prep our ribs. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna get going with our corn. As you can see, we'll hang those babies right here. We're gonna come on back with our potatoes and onions. Check this out, folks, isn't this awesome? We'll hang those here. And last but not least, we will hang our sausage. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the cutting board. At that time, we will get our ribs prepped and we'll come right on back and get those hung as well. Okay, we are back. So as you saw, we went out to the Gateway Drum Smoker. What did we do? We hung our sausage, we hung our potatoes and onions, and we hung our corn. So now we're back at the cutting board. Let's get these three slabs of ribs prepped. All I'm gonna do is show you one and what we're gonna do, and then I'll take it off camera for the rest. Now you know when you're making ribs, the most important thing about ribs is removing the membrane. Now, most people use paper towels, and a lot of times you need to. I am, I've uh, acquired a way of being able to just grab these, as you can see and it works for me. I can just get my hand right there, and here we go. We are pulling off this beautiful membrane all the way through, folks. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other slabs, and then I'm gonna show you the rug we're gonna put on these ribs today. Okay, so we have the membrane removed. I'm gonna go ahead and dry it up just a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do now, folks, is pretty much traditional and standard for most rib cooks. 
we're gonna add mustard as our binder. So let's do that on this side. What I like to do is get that worked in. Okay, and then we'll come on back with the rub we'll be using today. And that rub will be the Mississippi Grind Swine Life. Love this stuff on ribs. Love this stuff on anything pork related. But it's also great on chicken and beef, but definitely on ribs. So let's hit it with a dose of Mississippi Grind. Now the good thing about it is we'll let these sit on the cutting board for about 10 minutes and let the uh, rub adhere to the ribs and let the moisture, they'll start getting wet because this salt will start absorbing and drawing the moisture out. So that's on this side. We're gonna flip it over and do it again on the other side. Mustard first as our binder. Then back with our Mississippi grind. So let's hit it again with another good dose. Okay, we wanna make sure to get our edges and everything. So we're not leaving anything out here, folks. We're building in flavor through and through on these pork ribs. Let's get our sides. And the other side. Again, folks, we don't leave anything out. So we're catching this side as well. I wanted to show you what we're doing on the one slab, and then I'm gonna take it off camera and do the exact same thing to the other slabs. Thanks again for joining me. I'll catch you guys when it's time to hang these ribs out on the Gateway Smoker. Okay, we are back. So we are back at the Gateway Drum Smoker. Our ribs have been on that cutting board for about 15 minutes. It's time to get them added to the smoker. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and add our beautiful three slabs of ribs. Okay, folks, slab number one. Slab number two. And our third slab, slab number three. So again, folks, check this out. We have a full meal on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I wanna get a little bit closer on this and show you how this stuff is coming along. Look at that. Tell me that isn't beautiful. Now, to go ahead and bring it all together, we're gonna go ahead and add one piece of maple wood and go ahead and get a little smoke added to these potatoes, corn, sausage, and ribs. All right, folks, I'm gonna get it closed up because these smokers get hot really, really fast. And I'll check back with you guys in about five or 10 minutes. Okay, we are back. So what I wanna do now, I bet our sausage has gotta be getting close to being done. So let's check that out. If our sausage is done, we'll go ahead and pull that off and then we'll uh, uh, spritz our ribs real quick. So we're about 30, 35 minutes into this cook. Let's check it out, folks. Look at that beautiful smoky environment. We have the maple rolling in there. I want you guys to see this. Oh, look at that sausage. It is done, folks. That sausage is done. I'm not sure about our corn yet. Again, about 30, 35 minutes into this cook. We'll check on the corn as well, but I'm going to call this sausage and go ahead and get these babies pulled off right now. So another good uh, part of the accessory pack that I got from Pit Barrel Cooker is the tool that you pull uh, your hook stuff off of. So it's an easier way of getting things off safer. So here these babies are. Look at that sausage, folks. Bust it right through, ready to go. So these are going off. We're gonna go ahead and get the lid back on while I put these up and then we're gonna come back and spritz our ribs. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so just brought the sausage in. Let me get it opened up. And what I wanna do real quick is spritz these ribs and then I'm gonna hang four more sausage. We're gonna keep these babies going. So let's get these ribs spritzed first. All right, so we are spritzing these beautiful ribs. And what I'm using is just apple juice and brown sugar. So we're hitting these ribs with apple juice and brown sugar. And what we'll do in a minute, folks, is we will pull our corn. Our corn should be ready at that time. So we'll pull our corn, and then we'll check on our potatoes at the same time. This cook is coming along well. We're gonna go ahead now and hang our sausage and get this baby closed back up. Next batch, going down. I'll see you guys in about 30 more minutes. 
Okay, we are back. One thing I noticed is that the corn seemed like it was done as well when we pulled off that first batch of sausage. Let's check on our corn real quick. I love this hook tool. This is how you do it, folks. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This corn is smoked. It is ready to go to the cutting board. I'm gonna get the lid back on and we'll take the corn in. Okay, we are back. I figured we'll go ahead and put another batch of corn on. So we just took that one off. Now we're gonna add four more ears. So we'll do that right now. Okay, folks, things are going well. We will check back with you guys again in about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, we are back. So 20 minutes later, we're gonna go ahead now and get our links off. They should definitely be ready. And what I want to do, I want you guys to check out what we got going on with the ribs. Look at the beautiful color of the ribs right now. They are coming along well. We're going to keep those babies hanging. Our corn, in about 10 more minutes, we'll pull those, okay? So I'll sit this back down real quick. And then we'll go ahead and get our sausage pulled off and let you see that. So this Gateway Drum Smoker is doing an awesome job with the pit barrel accessories. Look at that. These are some beautiful smoked sausage. I'm going to go grab some more and bring them out. Just want to show you guys where we're at. Our corn is also cooking up well. We'll probably get that off, like I said, in about 10 minutes. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We're going to go ahead and get these potatoes pulled. Everything is cooking up well. We have our third batch of links going. But now it's definitely time to get our potatoes pulled. Look at these babies. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take these to the cutting board. Then we're gonna continue on with our ribs and our sausage, but everything is getting done nicely. We're starting to get pulled back on our ribs. I'll meet you guys back here at the grill in about another 30 or 40 minutes. Okay, it's been about an hour and I've been taking sausage and corn off and on. Uh, we've done about two or three batches. So this is our last batch of links. So we're gonna take these links off. They are definitely done, get those in. Then we're gonna bring our ribs in. Now they've been smoking for about two and a half hours. We're gonna bring them in, wrap them, and then get them back out here on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back at the cutting board. We are about two and a half hours, like I said, into this cook. And what I wanna do is go ahead and get some butter and brown sugar on these ribs and then we're gonna get them back out there on the gateway drum smoker. Let them cook for another hour and they should be done. I mean, it only takes about two and a half to three and a half hours when making ribs on the gateway because it is hot and fast. So you can see the beautiful color we've already formed on these ribs. I'm gonna get this brown sugar rubbed in a little bit. Yeah, very, very good looking ribs. You can see we have achieved some pullback already on our bones, so that's already happened. I'll flip this over. Beautiful bark on this side as well. Luckily, I bought one more. Okay, and our brown sugar. Okay, let's get that on there where it's supposed to be. Like that, folks. Okay, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get this wrapped. So I wanna show you what we're gonna do to each of the ribs. You remember we did three slabs. So I'll do the remaining two the exact same way. And then we're heading back out to the Gateway Drum Smoker. We'll put them on the rack now. So no more hanging. We go directly on the rack. And then about an hour later, I'll show you guys the final product of our smoked ribs, our smoked sausage our smoked corn, and our smoked potatoes and onions. Guys, thanks for joining me. I'll get all this finished and back on the grill. See you guys in the next hour. Okay, we are back. We're gonna go back on with our ribs. We wrapped them. We did brown sugar and butter. And we're just gonna put these babies back on for about 20, maybe 30 minutes. That's all they'll need. Then we're gonna get them sauced. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. We are 30 minutes later. I wanna go ahead and remove this foil and then we're gonna sauce these babies. Let them sit on the grill for about 10 more minutes and we're gonna pull them. We will call them done at that time. All oh, these babies are looking wonderful. Let's get this opened up. Look at that, folks. 
picture perfect. Beautiful ribs. We're gonna go ahead and get them sauced up and then let them sit on the uh, grill for another 10 minutes and then we will call these babies done. Check those out. Beautiful mahogany color. Okay, I'll get back with you when it's time to go ahead and sauce them up. See you in a bit. Okay, we are back. So we're gonna go ahead and get these babies sauced up. So what I have here is Stubbs brand barbecue sauce. This stuff is really good. Though the uh, flavor I have is sweet and savory. So what I wanna do is get a generous portion of this sauce on and get the lid closed back up and let it set on here. So like I said, about 10 minutes and then we should be uh, good to go. This has been a really good cook. We got everything done, folks, if you think about it. We smoked sausage, we smoked corn, we smoked potatoes and onions, and we made ribs at the same time. How are you gonna beat that? This is a versatile, versatile grill, and with those accessories from the pit barrel cooker, it just brings it to a whole new dimension. I want to make sure to get the bones on the side, so we are focusing on those as well. And we'll just close it up, get back with you guys in 10 minutes at the cutting board, and I will show you the final product of our smoked ribs, smoked links, smoked corn, and smoked potatoes and onions. See you guys at the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So we are at the cutting board, and I want to show you the final product of our smoked ribs, smoked sausage, smoked potatoes and onions, and smoked corn, all cooked at one time on the Gateway Drum Smoker. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel, let others know what d -Ski Grills is up to, and as always, at d -Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. This pit barrel accessories, this is the way to go for the drum smokers. I want you to see real quick, potatoes are moist and tender, you see our sausage is cooked through and through. A quick bend test on our ribs. I just want you to see these babies are done right. Here's our ribs breaking apart. And of course, this corn, folks. Look at this beautiful corn. You can't beat it. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you guys next time.